bitch. And burn. Hey everyone. So tonight I want to discuss uh, the 2007 film, The Informers. Now this is like loosely based off the book of connected short stories that was published back, I believe in 94 by Brett Easton Ellis. Brett Easton Ellis, for the people who don't know, he's the guy that wrote Rules of Attraction that was later turned into a movie starring James Vanderbeek. And he also wrote American Psycho that sort of became the launching pad for Christian Bale's career back in 99. So, like I said, the, the book is a completely different animal than this movie. And I understand on one hand why this movie was so poorly received by both, you know, moviegoers and critics, especially when you sort of weigh it against the book. But overall, I really like this movie. I like the decadent sort of disaffected narcissistic 80s. And that is the decade that this movie takes place in. Of course, fuck, I just can't get comfortable. Anyways, yeah, so... I love that about this movie. I love how cold and sterile they've made the 80s. And not to mention the ensemble cast in this. I mean, Billy Bob Thornton's in this, Kim Basinger's in this, Winona Ryder's in this, Mickey Rourke is in this, Chris Isaac shows up, Amber Heard, she's in this. And this, of course, I think the most sort of significant aspect of this movie um, is that this is Brad Renfro's last film before he died, I believe, of a heroin overdose at 25. The movie's dedicated to him. Brad Renfro, for anybody who doesn't know, he was in Larry Clark's Bully. Check that movie out. That movie is a fucking wild ride. And this, like I said, was his last film credit before he passed away. So it's another thing that makes this movie sort of significant. And I really like Brad Renfro. He was cut a little short. I'm pretty sure that he was, he was the kid in the firm too, I think. At least I think he was. But anyways, yeah, this movie's just sort of like, it's a bunch of really unlikable people behaving unlikably, essentially. There's a, there was supernatural elements to this movie. There was apparently a vampire at one point that was pulled that they decided not to go with because there is still like a guy in this who believes he's a vampire. So I think it's the rock star in this, if memory serves. And it's just a lot of really ugly people behaving badly. I mean, there's, there's nothing too exceptionally bad. There's no murder. There's no rape. There's nothing like that. It's just a bunch of rich people living wealthy, disaffected lives where they do a lot of drugs. They have casual sex during the AIDS epidemic too. And that's sort of how the movie concludes with Amber Heard's character, Christy. Um, looks like she's, uh, the AIDS has advanced and she's got a couple other things that come along with AIDS and she's left sort of, she didn't want to go to the hospital. She just wanted to go to the beach. And so she's all soared up with bruises and shit all over her. And she's just on the beach saying, like, this is where I want to be. And that's how the movie ends. And actually, the end of this movie sort of sums up the entire movie really well, is it's just like a slow building disease. These are not good people. I mean, a couple of them are, but for the most part, I felt bad for Brad Renfro's character. He was kind of tossed into this middle of this, like, kidnapping for hire thing with the scuzzy Mickey Rourke, and I don't know. I felt bad for him, but as far as everybody else is concerned, they're just so heartless and so cold, and, like, Billy Bob Thornton's attempting to get back with Kim Basinger because apparently he's not going to cheat on her with, with Winona Ryder anymore, even though he still is, and it's like, ah, of course. Chris Isaac plays a piece of shit father. And it's just, I love this. I love this about Brett Easton Ellis's work. I love that sort of like that evil 1980s sort of money first, people second attitude. And that is so prevalent throughout the course of this entire film. But at the same time, I get why people didn't like it. I love it, but I can see why people felt that this was just sort of like whatever, I guess. But... I still really like this. I've watched this movie a handful of times. I just, I like how cold everybody is. I like how, I like the sterility. So, but yeah, look, I'm going to go. So thank you so much for hanging out with me while I discussed the 2007 film, The Informers, starring a ton of people like Kim Basinger, Billy Bob Thornton, and this was Brad Renfro's last film for anybody that cares. Like always, if you like this review, don't forget to do something nice for somebody and don't forget that you guys are amazing and that you should probably do something nice for yourselves as well. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. 
And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.